Hi, today we're going to talk about how to batch process in Adobe Lightroom. Now, you can see here I have a photo. It's, a, it's actually my niece playing at a, uh, in a exhibit at a local museum in Philadelphia. And let's say I wanted to make a quick edit to this photo, just very basic. All I'm going to do is sort of just clean it up, um, see what white balance it was. I think it was tungsten light and just brighten it up a little bit more. Now let's say that's that's good, right? Now you can see a difference between that one and the one I just brightened. It's a lot nicer. You can see everything a lot clearer. And now I want to bring this change across all of these photos here in this series. There's a bunch of her playing in this exhibit. Now to do so, I'm going to stay on this photo, which I just edited, and I'm going to have the little carousel here down uh, exposed so you can see it all. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and click on the last photo in the series. And you can see that it says sync, right? It says sync right down here. If you hold shift, you can see it says previous. Um, if I hold um, the uh, command key, which I believe is the, um, uh, I'm not sure what key that is on the windows. I think it's uh, op alt or option on the keyboard. Um, but uh, if you hold, oh, actually it might be control on, on a, on Windows, sorry about that. Uh, so you hit, you can either hold down that key and it'll say auto sync, or you can just let it go and it'll say sync. Now, um, I'm gonna just do sync, and uh, by the way, you can also hit this button and it'll change this to auto sync as well. But um, so you can see I have all these highlighted, but I started with the first one, which I just edited, which is still up on the screen. I'm gonna hit sync. Now here's gonna bring up the synchronization settings. Now, if you made specific changes, now all we did was exposure, but if you did specific changes, you can hit select all, or you can hit check none and just check off the ones you want to be synced. I'm going to hit check all and hit synchronize. And if you watch, these will slowly begin to um, brighten up and grab those settings. So what's really cool is I can now go through them all and see that the exposure is pretty much even. Now, not all of them are great photos. Not all of them are properly uh, in focus because she was moving around and I had to sort of you know, follow her around, but uh, you get the idea. Everything is now pretty much the same. Now, here's another way that you could go about doing uh, exposure or, or batch processing in Lightroom. You can go back to this first photo and let's go right here. Now I'm in this first photo and let's say I made this change. I can go ahead and make a preset. See here I have all my favorites. These are all my favorites that I use on a regular basis. You can see here I have clients. And these are clients that I have that uh, I made presets for the specific jobs. So what you could do is you could actually go ahead and uh, if you make a preset, I can actually go ahead and choose a preset. So let's say I want to do this one on this photo. It just, you know, use that preset on it, but not a big change. Or I can go here or I can go here. Let's go to a black and white. And let's just um, bring it up again. Now, again, I made a preset. Now I can go through and just quickly go to the next photo, hit the preset if I want, you know, go to the next photo, hit the preset if I want. So you can see that it's another quick way that you can do it. It's not as quick as making one and hitting sync, but it also gets the job done. So I'm actually going to uh, reset that and I might just leave that as a black and white. So really the quickest way is to, if all of your photos have a similar exposure, then the quickest way is to edit one and uh, in the carousel, highlight them all and hit sync. Now, if you're not uh, in the develop module, let's say you're in the grid module, the library module. So you can see all the photos from this trip are here. I can then go ahead and I can um, actually go, let's go back to develop. I can go ahead and I can copy, bring out the preset tab, uh, tab over here. I can copy all these settings. Then I can go ahead and you can highlight all these photos. Let's say all of them are the same. And then you can go ahead and, uh, and develop settings and you can paste your settings right here. And now sort of like the sync, it'll do the same thing, but um, does it really a little bit slower um, than the sync does it. So there's multiple ways you can do this. I recommend doing them in batches and doing them um, doing them really 
uh, using the sink. It's really the fastest way and the most efficient way. But you can batch process in Lightroom. And then when you're all done and you want to export them, you can then go file and export. And if you have a preset for your export, you could do that. Like I've got a bunch depending on where I'm going, to my blog, to clients, whatever I'm doing. Um, I have preset for that. So you can export them all in one shot as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching.